Today we're in Curacao. We had the opportunity to stay at Bed and Bike here in Curacao, and this is a hostel that includes a bike with it. Uh, makes it unlike any hostel I've ever seen before. Uh, it's, uh, the ratings through this for this hostel are through the roof. They are very high, no matter what site you look on. And uh, right next door is a restaurant where we've had breakfast. And uh, they're connected so you can get from one to the other very easily. I really enjoyed my breakfasts here. Now just because it is a hostel doesn't mean you can't have a private room. Like many other hostels around the world, it does offer private rooms and here's one. The decorations and color scheme of the rooms match that of this Caribbean destination. So while we've stayed here, we've thoroughly enjoyed our stay. Uh, it's a very clean place. Uh, the cleanest hostel I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, I highly recommend it. The ocean is literally two blocks over, uh, so it's great access to the city. Uh, the most beautiful part of the city is actually all around this. Uh, the colorful buildings, and even this building is colorful. Okay, this is so cool. I've just got my bike from Bed and Bike, and now I'm gonna go check out the city. So let's go have a look. So my film crew suggested that I take the green bike instead of the black bike as it would look better on camera. The black bikes are guy bikes. The green ones are for girls. Does it really show up better on camera or is my crew messing with me again? As you can see, the buildings are so colorful here. I've just come across the uh, what they call the floating bridge or the swinging bridge. And this bridge is literally floating on water and they can swing it to let a boat go by. And of course, off in the distance, you can see a high bridge that boats can go under. But everything here is extremely colorful. The, just the buildings just pop with color. It's, it just looks fun. And quite honestly, it is fun. We ran across this awesome mural painted by Francis Sling. It's a plucked rooster with his feathers hanging out to dry on a clothesline entitled, Naked, Come As You Are. We're at Playa Casabo, and this is a somewhat private beach. You have to pay $6 per car to get down here. Uh, but it's got, it's a very nice beach, uh, and you can see all the different things you can do here.
This beach is fantastic because you have so many options of things to do, and if you get bored with one thing, you can move on to something else. They have subboards. What's a subboard? Ah, a stand up board. You can rent kayaks as well. While you're at Playa Casabao, you can get a massage, and uh, there's lots of services that they offer here. You can scuba dive here also. So, you say you don't know how to scuba dive and aren't scuba certified? No problem. There's a Patty Scuba Diving School here where you can take lessons. If you're on a budget, I recommend learning to scuba dive close to where you live. But if budget isn't a concern, I definitely recommend learning somewhere like this place. I think the Caribbean would be the ultimate place to learn with its crystal clear azure waters. In Curacao, you can also come and check out the pink flamingos. Jimmy Buffett's music portrays an island escapism lifestyle, and when I'm in a place like this, I totally get that concept. Watching these birds is like that, and of course they seem to get it too. When they're not soaring across the waters, they're just chilling as well. Every once in a while when we go to a destination, we run across a hidden gem, and this is one of those times. This is Boca Santa Cruz, which is a beach with picnic tables with little huts covering them. Uh, it's a nice beach. You've got a rock cliff on this side and a rock cliff on this side with the ocean right here. Uh, it's clear water, of course. But what I want to draw your attention to is this establishment over here. It's Captain Goodlife, and uh, it's an interesting name. Uh, the, the gentleman is just oozing with energy. Uh, he's got a neat little operation. He takes you out on boat rides. Uh, he can take you out to a place called the Blue Room, which is a cave. And uh, the only way to get to it is either by hiking or by boat. And boat's the easiest way. So, uh, and he makes it very affordable. Uh, he's $22 a person. And he takes you there as well as two other uh, spots. And uh, all I can say is uh, it's a must do if you come to Curacao. Captain Goodlife takes you to the Blue Room Cave, which is a natural grotto great for snorkeling. Depending on the water level, the opening may be visible where you can freely swim in, or you may have to free dive for a few seconds as the opening is just barely above the water line. My name is Captain Goodlife. And tell us what you, uh, what you do here. Yeah, so I have a water sport called Let's Go Water Sport, and uh, I have a small restaurant. And I have some kayak rentals and I have a boat trip. I bring divers to the mushroom forest. Then I have the boat trip that goes to the Blue Room and then to the Black Sand Beach and the shipwreck of my father. My father passed away a long time ago. I took a big ship, I sunk it 25 years ago. Now it's full of corals. Then I bring it to the Buddha cave, which has some Buddhas in the, in the, in the caves and stuff. It's nice, it's beautiful, it's worth it. Uh, my price is $22 per person. I mean, I do it with a lot of love and passion. I believe I am the cheapest boat rider of the, of the, of the whole Netherlands Antilles. So, uh, love is the answer. He also takes you to Buddha Cave and a shipwreck, but those don't compare to the Blue Room. Some tips. Call ahead to make sure he has availability. There are only so many people he can take on his boat at a time, and I can tell you he fills up daily. You might see a few things that are in need of repair. This is common in the Caribbean. This is an adventure. Let that add to it. Just be cautious and you should be totally good. Trust me on this. It's worth it. You'll have a blast. This is a beautiful place. 
check this out. What we do here every day for every tourist who comes visit us. And uh, my wife helps me, and we give her your, the best. All right. Okay, monsieur? It's magic. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for visiting my island. Captain Goodlife is a character. His personality is on fire. There's no doubt he's an entrepreneur at heart. His entire family is part of his business and they'll all make you feel welcome. I can tell you that he and I are now friends for life. From this point forward, every time I go to Curacao, I will make a stop there. We're in the downtown district of Pietermai, and behind me is Deja Vu. It almost feels like I've been here before. Anyway, this is a neat little area. You can see all the buildings are painted different colors. Uh, there's lots of restaurants and just a lot of, uh, a lot of art through this whole area. You can walk two to three blocks and literally check out the menus of 30 to 40 restaurants. There's truly something for everyone, and most of these establishments have great views of the ocean while you dine. For me, what I like best about an ocean destination is the smell of the ocean, the ocean breeze, the sound of the waves crashing, and watching the water against the horizon. So enjoying great food with friends while I do all of that only adds to this perfect evening. We're outside the Scuba Lodge and they have a restaurant uh, out back that is oceanfront. And we're gonna go back and have a drink and just kind of chill out for a little bit. The evening we arrived at the Scuba Lodge, they were having a buffet, which they do once a week. And they had lots of food options. We originally weren't going to eat, but when we kept seeing the food they kept bringing out, our crew decided we couldn't resist the temptation. This place tends to be completely booked on this night, so it's worth calling ahead to make reservations if you plan on eating. Time to enjoy a scuba colada, their rendition of a pina colada. It's got a shot of blue curacao in it. These scuba coladas might sound like a girly drink, but man, are they good. When we come to a destination, we always have a list of places we want to see. However, so often we have locals that tell us about destinations we otherwise didn't know about. This is one of those. This is Santa Marta. And Santa Marta is basically an abandoned beach resort. Uh, there is a monstrous lagoon over here. And then of course you got the ocean right here and this little small lagoon. But the lagoon back here is massive. 
Uh, there's these neat buildings up here on the hill and some of them look like they're still occupied, but most everything here is abandoned. And, uh, but there are people who are still using the beach. So this is a amazing place. The girl that told us about this was one of the girls at the restaurant where we ate breakfast. She said this was her favorite place on the whole entire island. And a patron that was sitting over at the end of the bar also suggested the same thing. So you'd really have to come and check this out. This is a stunning beach. The entrepreneur in me wants to move here and fix this place up to be a resort. We're at the Genuine Curacao Liqueur Factory. So most people have heard of Blue Curacao, but most people probably didn't know there was an island called Curacao from where its name was derived. And if you buy Blue Curacao, are you buying the original? Curacao is a liqueur flavored with the dried peel of the Lajara citrus fruit that is grown here on Curacao. Laraja is a bitter orange which gives the drink both a bitter and orange flavor. They started in 1896, and since then, they've added to their arsenal of flavored liqueurs. Taste of the day, that makes it sound like we're gonna get a taste something. Let's go see. And I'm partial to orange. I'm a Halloween baby. Mmm, that is very good. Mmm, I think that one's better than the orange. Wow, that tastes just like chocolate. Oh wow, that is really good. Let's see if anybody's watching, okay. I'm gonna get another chocolate. This was the chocolati, the one that tastes so good. Short of the occasional glass of wine, I don't actually drink much alcohol, 
but chocolati is probably the most delicious drink I've ever encountered. You might even think of it as a rare indulgence. Our trip comes to an end and we leave here in a couple of hours and I have to say that the sign behind me, Dushi, which is from their Papiamento language, uh, which is the local language for the three islands here of uh, the ABC Islands, uh, means sweet, nice, good. And I have to say that our stay here was definitely sweet. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this trip as much as we have. Uh, I know I always say that, but I love these trips and I hope that you do as well. But Curacao, uh, this is a place I wanna come back to a few more times. Just want to laugh until I can't breathe